Okay, I've made a few videos now um, installing a promise, installing a promise, promising to show how to install the plugins that I've been using. Um, so first we're gonna start with, with local. I'm not gonna walk you through the installation of local. Google it, download it, it installs like everything else. Um, it basically sets up a web server and WordPress installation on your computer. So you don't have to be online for it. Um, when you have it installed, you click on the little plus, select create new, go through the prompts. Uh, it takes several minutes and you'll you'll end up with an environment. So in this case, I already created one um, called testing. Let's go over here. Um, this, now the site's already running. If you look up, up in the top right hand corner, it's either gonna say start site or stop site. Um, if you're wanting to work with it and it says uh, start site, click start site. If you're done, click stop site. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the WordPress, WordPress admin. Bring that over here. Okay. Um, now, primarily, I've been using Neve. And as plugins, I've been using OtterBlocks and Stackable. So first things first, go to Appearance and go to Themes. All right, click on add new. So it's some of this takes so long, I already have it installed. Um, yeah, need you're fine. Okay, so go over to search themes, type need and -E -E. Um Don't have to press enter, it'll, it'll auto populate. All right. Um, so the first uh, item that comes up is the free version of Neve. As you can see, it's already installed um, and I've already activated it, which is something that you're going to want to do when you install it for the first time. Now, if we go to plugins, um, we go to add new. This is where you're going to install uh, the free version of Otter and the free version of Stackable. So if we had um, plugins that we had purchased, they would be downloaded. Um, we would have to upload them from a computer. We'd use this, but we are searching online. Excuse me, we're searching through the online library of available plugins. All right, here's OtterBlocks. You would go ahead and click install and activate. And that's the free version. So it doesn't have all the features. Um, same thing with Stackable. And. Boom, there it is, first option. Again, you would install it and you would activate it. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got. Let's go to hmm, new page. Open in a new tab. And uh, if you look over here, the letter N for Neve, we're gonna go ahead and disable the title, the footer, and the header, um, just to give us some more room to work with. Now, so far, when I've shown you how to use a uh, plugin, it's been a matter of uh, hitting the forward slash, that's the um, key with the question mark, and typing whatever you're looking for, and it will just keep changing until it's uh, out of options. Now, if you wanna take a, a look at everything you have, you can go over here and you can click on this plus sign. So here are all of the free items that come with the free version of Stackable. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, social buttons. Let's see. Icon label. All kinds of stuff. All right. Um, so that's just uh, that's Stackable. So we have a lot of stuff in there to play with. Um, right here, this is the free version of OtterBlocks. These are the blocks that come with the free version of OtterBlocks. The the pro version, the pay for version, is uh, comes with a lot more. And here we have the regular stuff that uh, comes with it just by default. Now, Stackable has something interesting. If we go up here, this will where it says Design Library. This will only be here if you have Stackable installed. So let's go ahead and click on it. Um, it's definitely going to be kind of slow since we're running it 
on a computer instead of running it off of online. Okay, um, so first, let's look at block designs. The first thing you're going to notice is a lot of these have a red dot. Um, those are only available in the pro version. Let's see if we can find something that isn't. All right, uh, let's do this uh, call for action. And as you can see, mousing over it, you can change every every aspect of it. Um, you can add more blocks inside of it. You can delete items. You can change the background. You can change the the, the mask. Let's go. Let's first of all, actually, let's move this up to the top. There we go. Um, let's go back to the design library. And those are the block designs. Let's look at the user interface kits. Um, you have some crossover between block designs and user interface kits. For example, we just got this for block designs, but it's also in user interface kits. There are differences between the two, and it's worth looking through the through them. Um, as you can see here, in this case, um, all of these are free. No, no red dot. Um, what you're probably going to be most interested in are wireframes. All of the wireframes that come with the free, it, th this doesn't hold you back. Um, these, these are all free. So a wireframe is basically, let's say you have an idea for a layout. Uh, of course, you can build it, of course, but uh, if you look through here, you may find exactly what you uh, have in mind. So you just click on, let's, let's find a good one. Let's uh, use this one. I've used this one before. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is your, your section. Um, you just um, you click on the images to, uh, to uh, To add images, you can change the text. You can you can add new blocks in the blocks. You can delete blocks. You can rearrange it. It's really handy. Uh, let's go back to the design library. Uh, let's add one more thing. Let's see. There's something in here I was specifically looking for. I have used before. Uh, let's go with this. All right. Okay, so here's something I want to show you. Um, if we go down here to title for this section, let's go actually down here to this last one that we just added. Um, when you have it selected, if you look over here, oh, let's make sure we have it actually selected. There we go. Let's go up to the call for action. So for example, um, in the toolbar, you have these arrows for plus and down. Depending on what item you have selected, we'll move them above or below what you have. So for example, we can take our icon blocks, we can move them down, we can take our, we can take this section. Can move it up. So anyway, anyway, that's the basics. That's how you install Neve. That's how you install the free version of Otterblocks. That's how you install the free version of Stackable. And uh, right now, those are the the main utilities that I'm working with in my tutorials. I hope this was a big help. Uh, please do like, subscribe, um, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.